Hey everybody, I have the Avon Lip Butter video for you. I had been meaning to do it for a little while now and um, just hadn't gotten around to doing it. I have five of the six shades that are available and I am wearing one of them today, only I don't know which one it is now. I can't remember until I look at them. Um, I tried to get all six, but one shade was on back order. So um, uh, I will get that one when it comes out. I really like these. They're like super comfortable. They are, um, I don't know, they're just very, very, very comfortable. And I don't know if you have tried or heard of the Dior Candy Glaze. Um, I find these very similar to that. Now I have three of those, I believe, and I was going to see if there was a dupe in the Avon for one of them. I think I have. There is a dupe, but I haven't gotten around to comparing them yet, so I will show that in a future video um, if they are actually a dupe. But they feel very similar to the Dior lip glazes, and the Dior lip glazes are quite a bit more expensive than these. <laughs> so that's cool that you can find maybe a dupe for, for a formula, if not for shade um, with the Avon. Um, but like I said, I will compare them in a while. I haven't done that yet. So I'm going out of, oh, I got a glare on my glasses, sorry. I'm going out of the Campaign 6 brochure, which is what we are currently in. I keep looking because of my lighting. Um, it's cloudy out right now. And I bought new lighting and I'm only using one of them at the moment. I have two. And I'm trying to figure out, like, <clears throat> if I use two, is that going to be too bright or, you know, what the deal is. But anyways, so in Campaign 6, these are $13.99 with the regular price of $18. And they, were, they will be found on page 39 of the Campaign 6 brochure. So that's them right there. And the shade that I had purchased first that I showed you guys a while back was Flirtatious. So I have, that's not the one I have on, but I will swatch it for you guys, even though I know I swatched it before. So these are like in a click up style, which everybody is doing these. I think Tarte was the first one to come out with this kind of system where you click it up. The formula of these lipsticks is very, very soft. So you do not want to click up a lot because when you put it on your lips, it's going to instantly melt from the heat of your skin so if you have this clicked way up it's just gonna squish i made that mistake with the dior when i first got one um i was like what is the deal i didn't understand the formula and i squished it <laughs> i mean i didn't squish it a, a lot but i i squished it and so i don't want any squishing to happen um in your lipstick so so you're just gonna click it there's like a little clicker here at the bottom and you just click it up like a pen. So this one is flirtatious. This is the one I had before. And I'm going to go ahead and swatch that for you. <clears throat> so that is flirtatious. <coughs> Sorry, Keith was eating some shredded wheat before I did this video. And he found one of those ones that's double. You know, like two of them cooked together. <coughs> and he gave it to me. And <coughs> it's caught in my throat now. That's what I get for eating shredded wheat uh, without milk. So this one is going to be called Tease. This might be the one. No, this is not the one I I don't think this is the one I have on. No. This, so this one is like a nude. And this one hasn't been clicked up at all yet. So I'm going to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 clicked it 11 times and as you can see it's just barely coming up so that's just you know so you know so I here's 12 12 should give me a good amount for a swatch okay this one's pretty sheer so this one is tease that's more of like a nude like a warm nude brown kind of color Look how shiny they are though. So pretty. So the first one was flirtatious and then this one is tease. And that took that right back down, you know, to just to do that swatch, so you know. So the next one is called Pucker Up. 
pucker up. This might be the one I have. You know what? It's crazy. I can't remember which one I have. I think it might be this one. I'm going to click it three times, though. It was almost up at the top. We'll do it right here. So that's Pucker Up. I don't know. I don't think that's the one I have on. Um, the next one is called Secret Crush. And I know this is a red one because I wore this one the other day. I think Love Affair was the one. No. What's the other one that's not available? Rendezvous. That was the one that's not available. So this one I wore the other day. And this one's kind of, sorry, I think I had too much on. It was kind of gathering. But that's my fault because I clicked up too much when I put it on. So this one is called Secret Crush. And I wore this one the other day, and it's a red. And it has good color payoff. So I got that clicked up just a little there. And we'll do that one. We'll do that one over here. So that one is Secret Crush. And they're so shiny and melty. Like, can you see just from touching my skin how like shiny and melty I got? And then this one is Love Affair. I think this is the one I have on right now. Yep. Yep, this is the one I have on now. So in it's kind of a mauve color. Like in the brochure, it looks a little like a berry, deep berry. I would say this is more of a mauve, like a mauve shade. And we'll do that one right here. So this one is Love Affair. But, you know, they kind of all look similar except for the tees, which is obviously a brown. But when you have this Secret Crush on your um, lips, you can definitely tell it's a red. And the Flirtatious, which is, I think, this one, is kind of a like a light pinky nude shade. So they're all really nice. I mean, I like them all, and I would like to have... The other one, which is the Rendezvous shade, um, just because they're so comfortable and they they wear really well. Now, they're not super long-lasting, but it's the formula that makes them be that way. Um, if you're looking for something longer-lasting, we actually have new matte, li matte lipsticks coming out in the Glimmer line, so that's going to be fun. I don't know if I'll try them just because I have so many matte lipsticks right now. I don't... You know, I don't really need any more. But this is from the Campaign 6 brochure, which we are currently in right now. And I'll leave a link uh, to my e-store and also to the lipsticks um, so that you can try them. I wish I had the, the sixth one, but I don't. And I know you can hear Dutch pacing around. Um, but I also wanted to tell you, let me wipe these off really quick. I got my makeup towel over here that I use for my brushes. That way I won't get any goopy stuff on my clothes or anything. Um, I also wanted to tell you that I did order the um, <clears throat> the two serums from the Solutions line. I got the Dramatic Firming one and the Nutura, but I haven't even taken them out of the box yet. So I can't give you any kind of review on those. The Nutura one says this ultra ultra rich serum contains snow mushroom extract, panthenol, sunflower seed oil, and hyaluronic acid. Ingredients known to help combat dryness and flakiness. Sorry, I should be holding it up, huh? In addition, the formula helps hydrate the skin for a softer, smoother look. So we will try that. And then this one is the Dramatic Firming, the blue and white. And it says, this moisturizing serum contains effective anti-aging ingredients, including vegan collagen, pomegranate extract, peptides, and tocopherol. And it says vitamin E in the um, 
parentheses. Notice a more youthful appearance as the skin's moisture level increases and fine lines and wrinkles become less noticeable. That's always a plus, <laughs> right? I will definitely take that. I'm curious though, really quick. Let's let's just really quick see. Have you ever smelled the Nutura before? Um, the in the pot in the jar. I was curious to know if this was gonna smell like the Nutura because the smell is kind of. So let's let's pump it out here. So that's what it looks like. It's just kind of a white, like lotion-y consistency. Not too thin. Right there. Oh, I got it on my nose. I don't. <laughs> the dogs are yawning. I don't notice that new tourist smell. Not at all. And it's it's like absorbed in right away, but it's not greasy. Kind of excited to try this. Maybe tonight I'll try one of them out. I don't know. I don't know what's what's happening. Are you trying to be famous? This is my love bug. Now he's on camera. <laughs> okay, Dutch, we gotta say we gotta say bye to everybody. We gotta say hi. Oh, thank you for the smooch. I appreciate it. Okay. Must be the lipstick, right? Must be the lipstick. You want to have have a smooch with me? <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, Dutch and I are going to go, and um, we will see you guys soon in the next uh, video. I'll probably do a campaign six video, even though it has already uh, began. Um, not too much new in it right now. We're still kind of going through the manufacturing issues with Avon and everything, but um, but hopefully there is. Um, brightness on the horizon with all that so um let me know what you guys think about these lip butters if you've tried them or if you're interested if you have any questions please leave them below <laughs> and i will do my best to answer them and i'll see you guys in the next video